Hey guys, I'm gonna show you how to add the Tailwind color palette to Bootstrap. Um, you might be wondering, well, why not just use Tailwind CSS? Why would you wanna add the color palette to Bootstrap? Um, and the reason for that is, this is honestly just personal preference. So I like Bootstrap because it comes with a lot of things out of the box, which work really well for me. Um, for example, modals, tabs, um, all of these different components that I may not always need at the beginning of a project, but eventually I need to add. And I'd rather just have a have something out of the box, um, especially because Bootstrap takes care of accessibility, which is something that you never want to just um, sort of go through quickly or ignore. Um, now that's not to discredit Tailwind CSS. Um, it's a great framework, a lot of people use it. Um, but they're more focused on the front end, they're more focused on the CSS and the UI, whereas Bootstrap is sort of the whole package. It, it's a CSS framework, but it comes with JavaScript and a lot of other components that are useful. So I set up a sample site here using Parcel. Parcel is just a, a zero configuration tool to help you get up and running. Um, Specifically, I, I just used this importing bootstrap um, recipe here. So that's what we're seeing here. Um, and these are just the default colors that come with bootstrap, but I'm gonna show you how we can extend the color palette by using Tailwind CSS, uh, the color palette from, from that. So I created this little package here, which essentially just extracts the, the colors, the default color palette from Tailwind right here. I like this a lot um, and I figure it'd be nice to just extract this and be able to drop it into a project without having to use all of Tailwind. Um, specifically, I think this works well for Bootstrap. So I'm going to walk you through how to get this set up. So the first thing you want to do is either npm or yarn install the library. I'm going to shut down the server here. Okay. Okay, and once that's installed, um, what you can do is just simply import it at the top of your SAS file. Highlight that correctly. Okay. And now I'm gonna run my server again. And again, Parcel is, is separate from Tailwind or Bootstrap. It's just a way to get a site up and running quickly and it's perfect for a demonstration like this. Okay, so now that our server's up and running, you'll notice that nothing has changed and that's normal because we didn't actually go ahead and add anything to the markup. So by default, the way that this little library works is you get a bunch of utility classes that start with TW for Tailwind and then either BG for background or text for the text color. And then it just follows a pattern of the color palette name and then the number. And I'm getting all this from Tailwind here. I just I just straight up took their these numbers, you know, one through nine or one hundred through nine hundred and then the color values. So we can see if this worked pretty much by going in and let's go into the index file. And instead of I'll I'll add my own div down here. And we'll just do tailwind BG, let's do red and let's do 900. Um, and I'll change this so we can see. So, And now if we go here, we can see that we have this new div and the correct styles are being applied to it. Uh, we can go in and inspect it and see that that's where the background color is coming from. Uh, we can also do this with text color too, so if I Actually, if I just copy that, remove text white, and replace the BG with text. Well, that's actually, that's not gonna be helpful because we won't be able to see it. So I'll take that background away for a minute. And now we can see that the text color is being applied. So this is, um, that's one way to get things going. Something else which is a little more helpful is actually extending Bootstrap default variables. So yeah, like you can go in here and um, Bootstrap shows you how to do this. So if I went in here and did, I'll do something more jarring. 
So we that's um this this variable is provided to us by Bootstrap, and I just went ahead and over overrode it. But what's cool is that we can actually take um, the available colors from this library right here and use those. So we could actually set the background using um, this assass map. We actually have this, which is cool. So by doing this, you could actually go in. Um, you could easily override all bootstraps variables, which let me show you here. I think it's. So I can go in here actually, right? And like I can say blue um, is that. Or let's do something more, more obvious. The primary color, we'll go ahead and set that to this right here. See, this primary color was now updated. So that's just a quick intro on how you can combine the Tailwind CSS default color palette with any project you're working on, but I think it works especially well with Bootstrap.